For example, two squared times two to the third, we add the exponents and we get two to the fifth, which is 32. Here's another example, same numbers, but now we're gonna multiply those exponents and we get two to the sixth, which is 64. Uh, now we have an example again, same basis. We're going to subtract those exponents. Five minus three is four squared, which is of course 16. Now we have five to the negative third. Again, that just simply means we're dropping it to the denominator, putting a one on the top. Five to the third power is 125. So it's one over 125. Here we got anything to the zero power. Here's seven to the zero is gonna be one. Anything to the first power is just itself, AKA nine. We got eight to the two thirds. So let's, let's check this out. Let's break it down. It's going to be the cube root of eight squared. What's eight squared? It's 64. What is the cube root of 64? Four, because four times four times four is 64. Now we could have also done it the other way. The cube root of eight is two, two squared is four. So in either case, we're getting four.